This review is about the e.l.f. Cosmetic High Definition Powder and my name is Melissa van Dijk, I'm a professional makeup artist and if you like to you can join me every Sunday on my YouTube channel because I'm doing live makeup applications where I'm going to show you how you can do your makeup at home. Now when it comes to the review I'm going to show you and also talk about the product itself so let's get started. <music> Now the e.l.f. Cosmetic High Definition Translucent Powder is a powder that you can use to set your concealed area and also the whole makeup look at the end of like when you're done with your makeup application because it will lock in your makeup and you can wear it all day long and it also won't melt off your face. Now with the e.l.f. Cosmetics products in general, I've never tried any products from them before especially because it's a US brand and I'm not in the US. So this is the first time ever that I'm trying out an e.l.f. cosmetic product. And because I was running out of my translucent powder, which is normally from Makeup Studio and also Creolan, which is a bit more of a professional makeup artistic brand, this is also why I wanted to change things up and also go a bit more into a drugstore with it. And because I've heard a lot of stuff about it, I just wanted to try it out and see my, for myself how it performs and also if it will lock in my makeup for the whole day. So let's get started. When it comes to seeing how the product performs, I'm also going to show you a little application and the pros and cons. Now talking about the packaging, I have to say it's like a typical plastic jar where the translucent powder is in it. And with this one, for me personally, it's also a really small jar. I'm used to having a little bit more of product. So I was really surprised when I first got it because it was pretty small in size. But never mind when it comes to the packaging. What I really enjoy is that it has like a switch, like a locker, where you can decide if you want to open up the product so that you can get out some powder and put it into the lid. And you can also close it so that you won't like lose too much product. Because with translucent powder, we all know that it can that it can fly everywhere and then your whole desk is full of powder so this also just will prevent it which I do enjoy so that you won't lose too much product when it comes to the packaging in general I personally think that well I don't know that's my opinion and that's why I believe is that maybe there's only like one big company that does all the plastic jars for translucent powder and also powders in general because they look all the same like one of them are a bit bigger and there you will also find a bit more product in it but it's still a plastic jar it's mostly a translucent like a see-through jar with a black lid so it's very very common so for me it's nothing special um, but still it's a nice packaging and I do enjoy the opening and closing part. Now let's move on to a bit of the application and also about like talking about the product itself. So now I just pulled a bit of product into the lid area and I also locked this part right here so that I'm not losing any product which I really do enjoy and I personally find that more companies like from different brands should do that. And when it comes to the application I'm just going to use a big powder brush and I'm going to like basically have the main product on one side and then I'm always going to dip a bit into the powder and what I always would recommend is with translucent powder it can look very easily very cakey so what I do would recommend is using always a little bit first you will have a lot longer of it like you can use it for several months or a year depends on how much product you have and second it's just much nicer on your face and it won't look cakey so I have a bit on the brush and I'm just going to press it into the skin so that it won't like also have any white patches because with some powders when they are especially white it can give you some white patches and then it's difficult to blend it because it just gets stuck into your foundation when it's still like wet. But with this one I'm just going to use it slightly, not too much, just to make sure that the foundation like won't move during the day. When it comes to a natural finish, and if you're not using too much foundation, then you don't need too much powder. So it depends also on how much product you are using in general. So let's say you are like the type of person that loves a lot of foundation having on the face, then of course you will need to have a bit more powder because it kind of needs to absorb the foundation so that it dries. 
But if you're using less foundation and still cover out your area and even out your face, a lot less powder will be useful for you as well. Also going down to the neck area, but this is mainly how I would apply the product. And I've been using it now for several days and I've been trying it out like for the whole day. And so for me, it pretty much does what it says. It's translucent powder. It won't look cakey. When I look, like having a closer look, it looks very silky, which I do enjoy. So it doesn't look powdery. Sometimes it can look like drying out some areas, but with this one, I really do enjoy the finish with it and it mattifies my face, which I do enjoy as well. Now I'm living here in the tropics where it can get pretty hot and also humid. So I've been testing it out during the whole day and it lasts me all day long. So for me, a translucent powder should basically kind of absorb, like get like the sweat and oils during the day. And this is pretty much what this powder does. And it still looks good. It still gives me that silky finish and it won't dry out any areas. Because I have a drier combination skin, Sometimes with powder it also can show some dry patches, but with this one I don't have it, which I do enjoy. So with that like being said, I'm really happy when it comes to the translucent powder in general. But now let's move on to the cons, because I still wanted to share some cons with you guys. And this is when it comes to the product and also the price point in general. So I paid around 60 Australian dollars. And for the product that you get, you get about 8 grams, like around 8 grams, which is pretty expensive. Like it's not high-end expensive, but it's also not cheap. So I'm surprised that people always tell me that it's such a cheap product and it's a drugstore price, etc. Because the products that I normally use have like 60 gram of translucent powder in it or 35 grams, etc. And these are compared, like if I would calculate it to that gram amount, then it's not cheap. So I definitely wouldn't say that the price is fair value when it comes to the product that you're getting. This is my only negative point that I have when it comes to the e.l.f. cosmetic like high definition powder. But other than that, I do really enjoy the product. I just personally find that it also can't compete with the Creolan HD powder, which is also one of my favorite translucent powders that are out there. So I definitely, like, I w I'm not sure if I would get this one back because of the amount of product you get. And with Creolan, it's for professional makeup artists and you can get also different amounts of product. Plus, the finish is still a bit different, which I do pretty enjoy. Like, there's not a huge difference on how it looks on the face, but it's more like what you're paying for. And also, it's a bit more of a professional use rather than um, using the drugstore product on different skin types and on different people. But this is just my opinion, and this is just how I personally feel about different products. Now, all in all, I definitely continue using it. I'm going to use it until it's empty, but then I probably will switch to my professional translucent powders again because this is just what I also personally used to. This was my routine. So this is more like not really an experiment, but I still wanted to give it a go and I still enjoy the finish of it. But I'm going to use it mainly on my own face rather than using it for different faces when I'm doing makeup applications. Now I hope that this review also makes sense to you, that you have now your own opinion if you should get it or not. And that's basically all what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!